This is your weekly trip to paradise, Louisiana style, with Gary Rasponi, Chef KD, and Lindsay Anderson. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K. Taking it easy, Louisiana State Parks. Follow your outside voice to our parks and historic sites. Farm Bureau Insurance, Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative, Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change, Louisiana Fish Fry Products, Veterans Health Foundation, Relief Windows, Experience, Quality, Service, Catering Cajun, Creative Catering from Casual to Corporate, and by CCA Louisiana and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament. Welcome to Paradise, Louisiana. Bad wrong thing. Gonzalez. <laughs> KD. Hey, hey, hey. How they say it? Bum, bum, bum. How about a tiger's done? Boy, you bad on that food. Hey, y'all ready to go tailgating? How you stay so slim with all huh? you eat? You must be. My wife runs fast. When I go to catch her, it takes a while, so I'm But look, you weight. got that. You got that little bitty waist and you work. It must be your metabolism. Gotta be, man. But look, look at you, man. You lost a bunch of weight. You looking good. Yeah, that ain't. You getting that Johnny Cash look at that black. That's that, that's that diabetes. You know, let me tell y'all something. KD, I oh. don't know if you close and talented with Don Dubuque and Joe Mack. Not now, but you, you're you so much more fun than ever got. <laughs> you're so much more hey, I'll fun. I'll take fun any day. It works for me. Yeah. Man, look, we get into that transition time. Everybody's starting to think about hunting. They looking at this and get going down the interstate to New Orleans to bring one of my kids to the airport. All these four-wheelers covered with red mud. I know where they've been getting ready. But you had some amazing things going on this past week. Had a few fishing trips. We got some stuff from week before last that was so busy we couldn't get in. What you think? You ready for hunting? Uh, I'm ready for the bird hunting. I mean, the doves, the doves coming up real good. I do that every year. Don't, sh don't shoot as well as I used to. But uh, I'm going to go I'm go by Bridge Side, Bridge View, and, and take a couple shots and, and uh, get ready. I, I, I enjoy that. That's more fun than anything. I like shooting them doves. I like uh, duck season, teal season, right around the corner. We're about three. Can you believe that? Three weeks away from teal season. Man, and, I tell you, I get your feathers ruffled, don't it? <laughs> oh, it is me. The dogs are always jumping in the pen, and you get a first cool morning. Even even your squirrel dogs and rabbit dogs start getting Well, we, we ain't got to the first coup yeah, morning man, you yet. Yeah, we get that first coup morning and shotgun, you can hear something banging and shotgunning, making noise in the closet. Well, I look, I live by them gotros. Can I tell you, they all practice. I've got the big squirrel rodeo coming up. So they all sight in and everything across the road. So believe me, I know when hunting season's coming. Well, Guys, y'all stay tuned. We're going to be right back. We got a wheelbarrow load and a half of stuff for you coming right back at you. Stay tuned for more Paradise, Louisiana. Voted best of Louisiana outdoors three years in a row. Benny's Unlimited Wash Club memberships start at $14.99 a month. Wash, rinse, and repeat every day. Join Benny's Unlimited Wash Club at one of Benny's seven locations. Ask me about my Tempur-Pedic. Ask me how fast I fall asleep. Why not talk to someone who's sleeping on the most highly recommended bed in America? Ask me about staying asleep. Tempur-Pedic owners are more satisfied than owners of any traditional mattress brand. Ask me how it feels after 10 years. Tempur-Pedic, the most highly recommended bed in America. Ask about Tempur-Pedic at Olin's, where you know you always get the guaranteed low price. Olin's is the only store in Baton Rouge and Lafayette with the full line of Tempur-Pedics. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. My neighbor, Tony, he looked at me and said, man, you're crazy. You're about to leave out in this weather. And I said, sir, I have a tag fish to go catch you. I won this beautiful boat catching a tag red fish in Venice, Louisiana. There's 100 redfish waiting. It all starts Memorial Day weekend. Sign up today. 
For generations, anglers from across the globe have put their trust in Abu Garcia because out here on the water, we know our science is your religion. Fish like a fanatic with the latest generation of Revo, featuring up to 24 pounds of max drag, designed for leverage and power, built on corrosion resistance and comfort. World-class adventure awaits with Revo, Abu Garcia for life. When my wife and I started Relief Windows, what our goal was to give a quality job to a homeowner. Everybody's scared of contractors. We wanted to change the mold of what that is. The reason why you should pick Relief Windows to do your renovation of your home, windows, doors, hardy planker siding, is because of the experience, quality, service of our company. We're gonna show up on time, we're gonna do the job right. The job's not done until you're happy and we're happy. We believe you deserve a quality job. Chris Holmes with the Louisiana Outdoor Riders Association. I'm the executive director. We're here at the St. James Boat Club. This is our 73rd annual conference of the organization. We're out here for our fun day fishing. We uh, want to thank everybody in Gonzales, Ascension Parish. We've got Captain Corey Wheat here. He's going to take me and none other than Mr. Gary Rasponi out for a good day of bass fishing in this area. And we're so happy to be here. Just tell me, what are we doing today? All right, we headed out to Blonde River today. Pulling out of the St. James Boat Club, gonna take Mr. Gary out, see how bad the black cloud's gonna be for us. Um, been a little while since I fished here, so typically when I do come to the Blonde River area, I throw a lot of buzz baits, a lot of top water frog. Uh, we're getting rigged up with some seven foot medium heavy Fitzgeralds, Delta Lord buzz bait. Um, also gonna throw a few frogs and go to worms that you throw normally around here. Nothing really special. So we'll see how it goes. This area I prefer outgoing, um, whether it's tidal water or just the river itself, pushing water out the system into the lakes. But I've also seen on the days when the water is a little higher, pushing in, you might not catch as many fish, but I've seen those days were productive for better sized fish. So it's kind of a, you get what you get when you come out here. It's got a fish. <laughs> you see that? A little bit of them. If all these professionals wouldn't be here, that's a fillet for me. I put that thing in a box. <laughs> Got them professional bass fishermen there to chastise you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't blame them. I keep little, I don't keep big ones. There you go. That's a little one. Get on top of the water, every dance. Bill dance, he can get off now. You let that big one go. Oh yeah. Sun's the wrong way. Get behind the cloud. I got a silhouette. Hold on. That's a little better. Yeah. Yeah, now look at that big old. Yeah. 
I should call punching with that weight on. Come in and talk about it. Let me get out your way, Gary. I'm gonna get behind you. I can see just behind you. Love you, go. Yeah, I'm the hunk out of there. Yeah. Let's talk about the Well, fish. you get spots like this where the lilies get thick and you know the fish are in there. It's kind of hard to get your frog in a good position and where they can, they'll see it, but it's, they always got lilies or something against them where they may, you'll miss a lot of fish like that. So a lot of times just take a three quarter ounce weight or a oh, one ounce wait. sinker. I'm just flipping real simple with a missile bait speed crawl, watermelon with red flake. Pretty simple, nothing special. And uh, that's about it. Send me the weight. Just a you don't pay one it. ounce, just a one ounce tungsten sinker. Yeah, it's pegged. Yeah. It's pegged. You got a little bead on there. When you tie that snail knot, you see how that hook wants to come up, and that's why you jack them in the top of the mouth like that. That's a new knot. We got to show that later. Not really new, but it's. Well, well. Uh, well, you can see it. So, watch if you see how it's tied into the eye like that. So, what happens is your bait naturally wants to, your hook naturally wants to pop up. So as soon as you set that hook, you get that upward motion like that into the top of your mouth. Not a tournament fish. I got a hook set that time. I got the rod bent in anyway. I saw the lodge. The yeah, little shake. Couldn't get it. This is predicted. It ain't my fault, Goose. Show me that reel and that rod. Yeah, that way it'll get through. This yeah. is the drag line. Garcia is a sponsor. You don't need a Revo. You just got to have one like this 60 yeah. years old. Yeah, it probably is 40 years old. This rod is called the drag line. Uh, yeah, it's called mini fish, believe me. There ain't, no, there ain't much. Uh, it's kind of like catch a fish yeah. and, then, and pull it straight to yeah, you. It, it ain't like a whole lot of fight involved with it. See, we you catch them all right. good, yeah. I told you, I told them when we pulled up. I said, man, y'all like, fishing, y'all stopped in my hole right here. They don't call them nothing. <laughs> hey, uh, well, this is the kind you want to keep, huh? I will eat that. Yeah, so when I'm punching, this is a little different punching lilies. I mean, you kind of let the fish tell you what they want to do first. Uh, first, you got to get some bites. What I usually do, uh, if you look, you got you got lilies here that are spaced out, and you got spots right here where it's real thick and creates a nice canopy. And that's where I like to, you know, that's that's the higher percentage spots. Um, also, you may have a, some lilies, and then you got like a piece of hyacinth right here, or you start getting the edge of some of this grass. A lot of times you got so many lilies and you look for something di unique in there that's a little different. Um, hydrilla or any coontail in there, there's a patch of coontail. Anything like that, that's in them lilies as well. But for the most part, you got to get bites to really know what you need to do. But once they start, once you start catching a few fish and you start repeating, then you, you got a game plan going forward until they change yeah. again. Hey! Bring him. Bring him this way. Keep in on the water. Mat, right? Stay with it. That's a hammer there. Yeah. That'll top that string off. Hold him toward the camera. I will. Yeah. Right where he's supposed to be.
we've been fishing together for years as you watch the show, but I got my captain's license. I'm ready to take you out to share the kind of experience that I grew up with my family having. Give me a holler, ChefKD.com. Don't tell nobody, but we gonna cook and eat pretty good on board. See you soon. I can't imagine a day without music. You go downtown, you can find some music. You come uptown, you can find some music. Monday night, they got music. Every night of the week, there's music somewhere. Baton Rouge is a place where it's easy to make friends, it's easy to hear some music, and it's easy to come back. We got the music, we got the food, and we got good people. So with that combination, you can't lose, right? Yeah, but come to Louisiana. For the thirsty, for those who hang out in packs, for heroes, for sidekicks, for those who see the glass half empty, for those who see it half full, for those on the right, for those on the left, for those with nicknames, for those with curves, for people that cycle, for people that recycle, for BFFs, for frenemies, for those with style, for lovers, for families, for big families, for everyone. The best part about being a member of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative is that it's your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. There's no better way to cool down this summer than with a delicious thirst-quenching Polar Pop Cup from Circle K. The Polar Pop Cup is the coolest way to beat the heat. Fill your Polar Pop Cup up with the flavors you crave in crushed or cubed ice. Nothing stays cold longer, so you can stay refreshed all day long. Stop in Circle K today for an ice-cold Polar Pop Cup. Polar Pop Cup, only at Circle K. Take it easy. Hey, welcome back. It's news time, and uh, I'm going to start off with a couple who, uh, I mean, Mr. Walter Leftwich and Miss Bobby Leftwich may have been part of the East Ascension Sports League since the get-go. But tonight, this is Monday, they're being honored with the Joe Herring Distinguished Service Award. And I read just what they've done, and it would take the rest of the show to even cover that. Guys, y'all are just a blessing. Uh, and look, Mr. Walter is uh, older than you, and I know you're over 70, so that just puts him at an age most people don't get a chance to fish. He fishes hard, he fishes regular. Don't tell all these young women. But can I, I tell you something? Over 70? He still says his best catch is Miss Bobby. But anyway, moving on. Department of Wildlife and Fisheries Enforcement Division, here comes a you know, somebody that coulda, woulda, shoulda, didn't what he was supposed to. I couldn't say that twice. Keith Camper of Marrera, undersized red gonna drum. What when they come for you, boy? You bet so. Using crab traps without the markings, violating the crab escape ring requirement, violating recreational gear requirements, and taking game fish illegally. Well, well I'll, I'll not say this. I'm, well, you made I'm a good too. point. I want not say this on TV, but I got some newer traps and older traps, and I don't have but two escape rings on them. So I don't know if I got to go bring them back and add the escape rings, but in this article coming from Wildlife Fish, we both have three escape rings. That's what it says. Supposed to be on the bottom. I got everything else that got them tagged, even the ones on my pier that are tagged. We untagged them all. Can't have more than 10 for recreational fishermen. Uh, I might be in violation. He might be a bad boy. Well, I had a question, too. The way they said this is their writing. It says recreational crab fish, but also limited to fishing. Ten traps per day per license. Yeah. But what if you only raise ten per day and you got 20 out? Do what now? It says ten traps. No, you're still fishing. You're still fishing. But you might have somebody else got a license. Yeah, well, they got to be, be in a boat. Because yeah, Gene and I right. have license, we have to both be in a boat. It's 10 traps, but this guy had 47 crabs, two small red drum, okay? They seized the red drum. They were already futu. They were finished. But they threw the crabs back in the water. But this is it. You got to have three escape rings, 
sufficient markings to clearly identify them, your license number on the trap, all right, 10 traps per day, and you can't use them to catch fish, all right? You add up all of his fines, he, he's going to be paying a lot for something he couldn't eat. That's right. You thought you thought thirty five dollars a dozen was high for crab. You wait till you get somebody you catch posted your own. the other day they wanted sixty five a dozen for ball crabs. Uh, Guess what? Good time to go catch some crabs. You got some nets. Back to Lower. We missed an interview last week and uh you got you I got did that. Yeah. We looked around, well, we were he, trying to get all off. the winners and uh and Cameron knows that. He he had a great story he told everybody, but uh, he he had, he had he left. He, he, we didn't get to get him on camera. We asked him to hang around, but he got busy and left. Uh, we got some pictures. But his story was great. He took two small bucks on an afternoon hunt with his father, David Dozat, December 8th at Dewey Wills Wildlife Management Area. You know, that's up in the central part of the state. But let, 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 me, let me tell you the part of the story. And I know I didn't want to get too long. He said, well, what made the hunt even better? Cameron was with his father. Anytime you hunt father and son, you, you, you're nothing better. It's members. Father, son, or whoever you with, we couldn't believe it. The Cameron, two deer in one hunt, this is incredible, very rare, and really means a lot to me, to kill a deer in a while. He wrote all this story up now, so the story had a lot to do with him winning, but to kill two in one hunt is so special, it was worth all the time spent scouting, sitting on the cold ground, waiting for the deer. But the best is yet to come. Well. Cameron said him and his father was sitting at some tree bottom when, the, when about five deer came through the area. He said, my family hunts public lands because we are not fortunate to have private land. You know, we all, I'm around both, and uh, I've seen some great hunts coming from both of us. We spend many hours walking or boating in the wildlife management areas. Thank God to the state and the National Wildlife Management Areas to provide that to everybody. You know we what? learned the terrain, the habits of the animal, and let us know exactly where to set up and hunt. Yeah, but let's Congratulations. Get, how about a true shout out? We, we all the time, you know, we have questions, we have issues, we're complaining. But let's flip this around to the blessings that we have by having these areas to hunt and the way they're managed and lottery hunts to where just, hey, an average guy without the finances to go have these expensive leases can create a memory like that for Cameron and his dad. Man, thank y'all so much for what you do. High five. Oh, high five. Hey, sure. back to y'all. Now, man, you know them kids are saying, man, 70 ton of gravel? That's a lot of rocks. But that's just how much that they added and are adding uh, into False River to reestablish the spawning beds. What they realized, they just really didn't have good spawning beds. So they're actually going ahead and adding these rocks into the flats. Can I add some False River? Yes, sir. One of the best years ever for catfish in False River. The bass were hitting in the flats over the rocks. They were fishing. And even the chinka pen were coming back in the North Flats because of the rocks. And the so. goo, because I catch a bunch of goo. goo. I don't know why, but I'm a goo fisherman. Right. When I'm that's, bass fishing, that's the best so. gravy you can make you and your cubillon. That's it. Yeah. A cubillon, cubillon. That's what you call what I make. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but guess what? Coming up, uh, August the 16th, uh, they posted this that they're going to be given away on the 19th of September. They're opening up the lottery for the White Lake Wetlands Conservation Area hunt. So look, go on site to the uh, Wildlife and Fisheries. That's the one that's going to cost you. And you no, can. The use of free, this one's going to cost you. Also, no. got a lot of controversy and a lot of questions going on. Mississippi's trying to create this one lake proposal to dam up some of the Pearl River. And they have a whole bunch of our guys really fired up, like making sure to protect the pearl down below it. And speaking of the pearl, right there around uh, the Pools Bluff, they're getting ready to remove that log jam right there to make boating safer and more accessible. So that's a that's a pretty good uh, deal coming up. It's going to start, yeah, I it's think. Got a, the, it's got merits on both sides. People worrying about flooding, you know, and stuff. But uh, you well, got to stay busy. If the log, the log jam is going is good. It's right all the way. The dam, but even the other one, damn it. But you still need to be vigilant. You got to look at everything that's considered. And there's, sometimes there's got to be a way to make both people happy. The people say it's impossible. What you always tell me? Yeah. Keep your Please. ears open. You got two ears, there's two sides to a story. Yeah, that's right. But, but look, I want to give another shout out while I go. You're talking about False River. 
State Representative Major Tebow, he's a hometown guy. He has really worked for the last four years. He five can't years. be Kendo or Responde. No, he's Tebow. Okay. That's a Kajon. Okay. All right, from Point Capri Barracks. But guess what? We came in with the statistics off the snapper, and they were pretty good. 701,000 pounds against a 743-pound quota as of August 5th. They closed it on the 12th, so they probably nailed the poundage. Uh, pretty close. And good. it might open up again. You never can tell. You know, Gary, all what we talked about, we missed one that we still got to cover, and that's another CCA that's function. That's right. We got some B-Road. I don't want to go there too far, but we got to give a shout-out. Nolan Renison and, uh, and that committee over there. Uh, they had my name on the committee, and we gave something away, but I don't work near the way these guys work. The parking lot was full, KD. It was just unbelievable. Uh, a lot of my friends, a lot of the business people out in Central, they really done, done joined in here and grabbed hands. Uh, they raised a lot of money. Some of my sponsors in there. You know, uh, Mike Bro was out there being himself. We had a lot of, a lot of politicians out there. Uh, Gil Mathern. Just all the guys that always been part of Paradise to Weezy out there. Relief windows. All the sponsors. And CCA is, is, keeps well, us going. I'm music. sitting at home, and Wayne Blanchard works with me. And uh, he also works with your boy down there at Galvin Seafood, giving us a hand whenever we need it. He sends me a picture. I bet you wish you were here showing me the food and the people. So if you impress that guy because he loves food, you know it was first class. It was unbelievable. It was a great deal, great, great fun. A lot of people, a lot of, a lot of gifts went around. Hey, steal them fish, swimming around with them tags in them. Don't let them get away. All right. I'll be right back. Pause moving in storage. We just sold our house. Congratulations. We have two weeks to move. We'll deliver a few containers. Our new home's not ready. No problem. You can store things with us while you're between homes. We might need help. We'll refer trusted packers. We'll be staying at my brother's. Well, that sounds... He has kids of his own. Well... Five of them. Ma'am? Help. Trust us for local and long-distance moving and store at our storage centers. Pods moving in storage solved. I'm John Jackson, and you know we always say we gather our groceries out the bayou. Whether it's freshwater, saltwater, catfish, redfish, you have tons of choices when it comes to fish in Louisiana. But when I fry fish, there's only one choice, and that's Louisiana fish fry. My new favorite, the Cajun fish fry, has the perfect amount of cornmeal, corn flour, and the perfect mix of spices that really bring the heat. Hey, if you're craving Cajun, go look for the bright red bag at your local grocers. Bring home the taste of Louisiana with Louisiana Fish Fry. The perfect event calls for the perfect spread of authentic Cajun cuisine. And Catering Cajun has the planners, packages, and chefs to ensure your event is long remembered. For weddings, corporate lunches, or anything in between, give us a call. The perfect event calls for the perfect spread of authentic Cajun cuisine. And Catering Cajun has the planners, packages, and chefs to ensure your event is long remembered. For weddings, corporate lunches, or anything in between, give us a call. Okay, welcome back. You know, you're talking about punching. One more little note. You know my buddy, Gene Hoover, is no little man, okay? But when you get down to Venice and Punch, and you drop it down up in one of them big old patches of hyacinths, and it's a redfish instead of a bass, I watch him put Gene to his knees. I'm talking about drop that 200 plus, I'm doing you a favor, Gene, 200 plus pound man down to his knees when he set the hook, because you fish a 65 pound braid that don't break. But anyway, speaking of Mr. Hoover, the H&H &H Turner Report's gonna kick off today with our high school guys getting into the Nationals. Out of the top 10 teams, we had two teams in that top 10. That's out of 300 plus boats. That is absolutely amazing. Fourth place out of Natchitoches, Wes Rollo and Hunter Owens did a great job, represented our state well, and a, a name that is no stranger to tournament fishing, Michael Bonadonna and Greg Diamond of Brule High came in seventh. Now, let me tell you, that now, is... Now, Michael got to be the son of Brent? Yep. Okay. As I say, that, that the apple didn't fall. You know, fall. we got Bonadonna's in our family, too. Really? My brother Y'all quite prolific. Brian won Bonadonna. And her dad and him all from Donaldsonville. I don't go nowhere that he ain't kin. 
No. That's all I can tell. He figures that. out because that's how he well, gets Well, you in. went to school with everybody. I don't know. You, <laughs> you must have graduated four straight years. All right, go ahead. I'm just well, going. Well, we do, Sylvia. We do use that topic. Go ahead, KD. But look, looking ahead, September 1st, there's going to be a tournament. Out of Amelia, 100% payback. This is the Labor Day tournament. Check it out. Go online. Here's a little flyer to go with it. But speaking back to high school and junior high school, here comes a great report. Oh, yeah, from Jim and Cindy broke. God, take it away a little yeah, bit of that. Junior Southwest Bassmasters and Denham Spring the Youth Club held their August tournament Saturday. You know, it was a clear morning, but rainstorms were chasing everybody around on Saturday, if you remember. Uh, but later in the day, they came late enough to let these people catch fish. The tournament I was from safe. You know, daylight to 3 a.m., 3.15, way in at the landing. But this, this is, once again, they had two flights with 38 boats. This is amazing. 48 young fishermen and their parents and guardians participated. The teams headed out of the Atlantic. They both went east and west. And then when they came back in with all that weight, there were 28 five fish limits weighed in. And look, right now, normally August, you know, is pretty easy pattern to pattern out fish, but with the spillway not having very much grass, same thing around Barrett, it's really tough fishing. And these guys did amazing. 220 bass weighed in, 210 bass were released alive to the thing. First place results as following. 15 to 8 year age group. First place, Connor Russian from Pride, 10.75. Second place, Trace Day. Now these guys are always in the money. I tell you what, Trace, we watched Trace come up and win two boats in the store. Little bitty old boy now, he's, he's in high school and uh, He's been knocking them dead. We better get our fishing in before they all get out of school and start fishing. I'm going to go, fish. I'm gonna go with them. I'm going to remind them. I said, <laughs> you know, I, I used to put you on TV. I'm going to be on. Now it's time to take us, Katie. Uh -oh. That's it. Uh, exactly. Third we place is Brennan. Brennan Richard from Walker. And Big Bass is kind of rushing. Uh, the 11, 14 year age group was Carson Grandier from Addis. And second place is Trent LeBeau from Brooklyn. And he's all. Almost two pound average on these winners, these kids catching those fish. Third place was Garrett Thomas from Walker, and Big Bass was Trent LeBeau. Uh, seven to 10 year age group, Blake LeRae from Brulee. Uh, Jackson Rogers from Denham Springs. Third place is Noah Roblin from Denham Springs. That's another name you're hearing a lot of. Out of division, Ricky McKenzie from Walker, Larry Russian from Pride. Third place is Brett Sellers. All these weights are over 10 pounds. Now, Big Bass is Ricky McKenzie. Now, you KD, know, it, it, it's we, got, we got to jump back a few weeks to some things we missed. But uh, I was down in Grand Isle for the Big Daddy Rodeo. And I'm going to tell you something. It's not the biggest tournament, but I don't know if they don't have one of the biggest hearts for the family and everything he left behind. You know, he just he lived a full life. He left it way too early. <laughs> but every year they do this just to give a couple scholarships back into the high school for these kids. I'm going to tell you, there's just a few shots of it. Check it out. Here's some of the leaderboard. And uh, I just, I enjoyed every second of it. Big Daddy is my uh, brother-in-law who passed away in uh, 2008. He was 37 years old, but an avid fisherman, real, just a, crazy about fishing. So when he passed away, we started a rodeo in his memory. That way we could keep his memory going. and. Uh, so we've been having it since 2009, and now we're in 2018, and it's still going strong. What do y'all do with the proceeds raised from? Proceeds, we got a scholarship that we give at uh, HL Bourgeois, and a scholarship we give at uh, Salt Lafourche High School every year. And the, uh, that's basically what we're doing with the money right now, a scholarship. Not only did we have the Big Daddy, but we had a first annual, and that was the Salty Kids. Oh, we got to correct you. I gotta correct you again, Joe and Don would not let us say first annual, just inaugural. Okay, we gotta start we got we, can, we right. got we got college professors and English teachers. But but they, they don't got my little prolific inability well, here. Well go ahead, I'm not gonna interrupt you. <laughs> anyway, anymore. we had the first, D first, D, D E first. <laughs> the first salty kids. This all started from a family living through a tragedy. And look, things just happened through the hospital and everything that gave them the heart. All right, I'm here with Austin. Austin with fishing today. What did you catch, Austin? What? Slow. I bet he was a big one. 
Yep. Did he pull hard? All right, but you put him in the boat, didn't you? All right, give me five. All right, thank you, Austin. Hi, I'm John Austin, and uh, I'm leading on Mangrove Snapper, seven pounds, six ounces. And um, uh, it was really fun. It fought hard, and um, uh, we have a good chance on winning that segment. That is so great. Congratulations. Who took you fishing? Uh, my dad. All right. Turn around and show him the back of your shirt. Show me your shirt. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, I'm with Parrish. Parrish, you're from Prairieville. Tell me what kind of fish you caught. I caught um, about a good boat, passive, loving, business back. You caught four kinds of fish? Yeah. Give me five. All right, all right. Thank you so much. And what's the name of the tournament? What is it? Good, good kid. That's it. Yeah, this is our, our first year doing the Salty Kids Fish Fest. We started it, um, had a, I had a daughter that was in a really bad accident, uh, injured very badly. We had a really, really good experience with the Children's Hospital at Our Lady of the Lake. We had, um, we had promised them when we left the hospital that we would help them in any facet possible. Uh, of course, they came to us a few years later and said, let's, let's help with some fundraising. And so uh, this year, we pledged to fund the trauma room at the ER at the new children's hospital that they're building in Baton Rouge right now. And so uh, our idea to help raise the funds for that was to do this fishing rodeo. I mean, I know um, a couple things that I'm passionate about. One of them is, is, is fishing and fishing rodeos, and I've, I've been involved with organizing a few. So um, I figured it would be a great way to raise the funds. And uh, the one thing that we looked around and saw that was missing across the state was a, was an all-kids rodeo. We didn't have a, a, a rodeo for all children, so that was our idea. That's uh, We pitched it to a committee of people. We got uh, a big group of people that really bought into it, uh, took hold of it, and this thing, it really grew legs and took off. It, uh, it's, it's really, really grown beyond our expectations. We expected maybe maybe 100 people to, to show up. Uh, that, was our, that was our goal when we first met, so maybe we'll get 100 people to come. Um, Next thing we know, we look up, we've got almost 300 people registered. That's, that's where we are today. That's amazing. That's yeah. a great deal. You know, there's two marinas that we're at. You know, one of them, you say you almost can to. I know. I Buck think I'm them, kin. I feel Butch family. Them, every time we go there, they take care of us. You know, after the storm, these two marinas kept that island going. You better know it. And they didn't get any governmental money. Their family stayed there. You know, you see them sometimes say, this thing's for sale. Nobody can afford them, I'll tell you what. But well, thanks when, to when those two marinas. When the going gets marinas, tough, I'm going to tell you that. The tough getting going. And not those only that, two marinas have Bridgeside, kept Island Sand Dollar, they're on top of it all. Yeah, they're in the business to make money, but they're also in making memories. And you know, with that, I'm going to toss into our next little segment. And that is, what do we do when our family wants to get together and have a little vacation? We head to Grand Isle, but we don't bring a fishing pole. All right? Now, we caught a few hardheads at night. The kids snuck a pole in, but we didn't put a pole in the boat. So what do we do? We go crabbing. We go tubing. We go sunning. And we do a lot of cooking. Check out our family having some fun. Got a pom-pom. Is -pom. it? Damn. Nice. Get the game. That's a keeper. Clam down. So we started with watermelon, ball corn, ball potatoes, ball raw red shrimp, which you're about that long. We caught a bunch of crabs today. We have some fried redfish, fried speckle trout, french fries. What else? I think a few other things. Oh, shrimp spiders. My daughter's had to have shrimp spiders. We get together down here, we eat good, and uh, when you come down here, you live good. Family having fun, we get to the dock at Bridgeside 
and I'm coming up. I didn't sneak up on him, but I did. They got a little bit of that old uh, CC clear water playing on the back, and there's Buggy at the pumps. Now, Buggy don't like being in front of the camera, I can tell you, but he is just a, I ain't got, look, check out Buggy. You mean TT. you're going to do that? I'm man. doing it. Buggy, I love no. you. Check this out, Dan, to this granddaughter. Oh, I better watch this guy. <laughs> That's how family store traditions carry them on. I got a little tip for you. It's getting to be crabbing season. And one thing, a lot of times when you ball crabs, all the claws fall off. Well, if you follow in this video, we keep them ice down in water and we take them right out the ice water into boiling water. The claws won't fall off. They stay on. You also can put them in the pot with room temperature water, light the pot and bring it to a ball most of them stay yeah, on. Yeah, Louisiana Crawfish and Crab Ball. Yeah, yeah, our great sponsor, Louisiana Fish Fry, but everybody don't realize it's Louisiana Fish Fry and Crab Ball. See those crabs ice down like that? I don't know if you realize, a lot of times you pull the crabs, the claws fall off. Pack them in ice water for 15 minutes, and then immediately take them out the ice, drop them into boiling water, all the craw crawls, and then crawfish, all the claws stay on the crabs. I'll get it straight in a minute. Check it out. While I was sitting at the camp in Leeville, the Triple T Lodge that we market, I kept seeing airboats going out Friday night and going out, and I counted 17. And it's like, what is going on? Well, what was going on was when I got to the marina Saturday, they had the third annual bow fishing classic. And it was unbelievable the amount of people and the different fish that got caught. Check out just a few of the shots of that. I think they got shot. They got caught. Got shot. They, got, they, got, they chewed them. Oh, they right? got real there, too. Though. That's right. That's true. That's true. But anyway, amazing tournament, great turnout. Check out the leaderboards. So much fun, man. Trevor couldn't stand it after seeing all that. Trevor ended up taking his boys out of the lodge Saturday night. Here's just a tease of the footage. Because uh, I think Trevor was more excited. He didn't get great camera in the boat. But we got the boys practiced up. And, uh, you know, <laughs> I told the kids they could go ahead and fish the night before. I'm back on my family trip. But I said, if you fall in the water, make sure you don't try to grab a post or a pylon to get in because of the barnacles. I just thought it was a good thing. So I'm upstairs, and they're sitting there trying to catch a few hardheads, and I hear, Kaplook. Well, one of the twins, Faith, a little 15 year old, and fell in the water. She said, Papa, I remember that. She said, I just held my arms up and Daddy picked me up. So she came in. It took a lot longer to find my rod and reel, can I tell you? Oh, yeah. All in a good time. We're going to be right back because we still got a whole bunch more. Fish report. Fishing report. Not about it that this is a place where food is created differently from anywhere else in the world because it just could be We're a culture made up of so many different people loving and bringing these local cooking styles to the whole right here. At the end of the day, that's all we need. Benny's Unlimited Wash Club memberships start at $14.99 a month. Wash, rinse, and repeat every day. Join Benny's Unlimited Wash Club at one of Benny's seven locations. Okay, Brett, safety and car insurance. Never scored a safety. That's defense. But go on, please. Uh, yeah, defensive. That, that's exactly how you should drive. Well, there's no such thing as a defensive drive. Offense makes the drive. Oh, I, I mean when you're on the road. But it doesn't matter. Home or away. Okay, clearly I'm striking out here. Um... That's baseball. Get great auto rates from Farm Bureau Insurance. Call your agent today. When my wife and I started Relief Windows, what our goal was to give a quality job to a homeowner. 
Everybody's scared of contractors. We wanted to change the mold of what that is. The reason why you should pick Relief Windows to do your renovation of your home, windows, doors, hardy planker siding, is because of the experience, quality, service of our company. We're gonna show up on time, we're gonna do the job right. The job's not done until you're happy and we're happy. We believe you deserve a quality job. In Louisiana, our state parks are the perfect family destination. With nearly 180 miles of trails through park grounds and historic sites, you can endlessly explore nature, try some kayaking or world-class fishing, then find the perfect campsite or settle into a cozy cabin. Louisiana is calling, and she's using her outside voice. Plan your escape today at www.lastateparks.com. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana, and Bad Rome, Boudin, Cajun meat here in Gonzales. Hey, guess what? Berkeley, I'm going to see a fishing report this year, this week. And we got a pretty good one coming in. It's starting to move in. You got to catch the weather. You got to fish the weather. You got to stay away from that west wind in, in the areas that we fish in. When I'm talking about the Pontchartrain Basin or Delacroix, that west wind is bad. You know with our phones nowadays, if you have cell phone service, there are some radar apps. I use my radar, which shows a blue, <coughs> little blinking dot exactly where you at. And you can watch the progression of these storms, and a lot of times you can dodge them. Hey, it's not foolproof, but it helps. Well, but, we got another picture, beautiful oh, picture of the week. You know, they keep sending us over there. But now, then while we're in the Grand Isle area, let me tell you, I, I run into Judge Bo Hickenbottom the other day. He was at another fundraising function, and uh, I was at that one for the Heritage House. He was at Heritage Ranch. Uh, we had one with Sister Dosey. We had one for CCA. We, had, we got a fundraiser oh, coming wait. up. Now, wait. You told me you're watching what you eat. That sounds like you are literally watching what you eat, you know, not eating what you And we're going to do it again, too, because this Saturday night coming up, they got that Metro Law Enforcement Foundation. They got theirs in, in Lamar Dixon. So, you can check out where you can get tickets for that. <laughs> There'll be a lot of prizes, a lot of fishing and hunting trips given away for that, too. But let me tell you, when I was talking to him, he's so excited, showed me a picture. I was going to send it to him. I guess he's too busy in court. But he had 75, him and his people had 75 trout in the Elmer's Island area where nobody else was catching them. But he's catching them on, what he's catching them on is croaker. But the croakers were dying on them. It was hot. They were using dead croaker, Carolina rig, and catching more fish on the dead croakers on the bottom than they were on anything else. That's just the way it is. Yeah, that's uh, it. So that's fishing for you, I guess. Oh, and that, that's the Grand Isle areas. I've been getting a lot of reports coming from there. Top water, a lot of other people have been fishing top water. But uh, me and my and buddy, you and Gene Hoover, y'all, 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 we, we, big we, time. Well, we were talking. In fact, your birthday buddy. Huh? Gerald Horse, y'all share the same birthday. No, one day apart. Oh, one day apart. I thought y'all on the same day. But uh, we got to talking to him last year, right about this time, that we go down to Delacro, we do the trifecta. And he says, the trifecta? I said, yeah, bass, specks, and reds. And one trip out of one landing, no problem. So Gene calls me back up. He said, I don't know if we needed to tell Gerald that. He said, oh, he's you're ready to go. Too. So guess what? We had the challenge, but guess we came through. To check out a few of the pictures that Mr. Horse shot. When is it coming up? Yeah, I think it's coming up in the end, probably October issue, maybe September. Oh, you man, know, I can't. I'm ambitious. It's coming. I'm it's coming. Let me tell you about Joe Horse, though. You, you know, he's a big duck hunter. He's a lot of hunting. He's been doing, been doing through articles. He's a biologist, too. You know, anything you want to know about speckled trout, anything Joe will do it. But he, he, he's only, he's one day older than me. But he looks so much older than me, don't you? Oh, oh, no, no way. Time right. out, time out. We're not going What's there. What's the best hey, you for know Lake Bourne rigs? Well, you know, a lot of shrimp's always the best, but when you do good, we have actually had a lot of people, Carolina rigging a lightweight on, of course, you know, our Matrix Shads, but uh, they're doing really well on that. And uh, the thing about the Lake Bourne rigs, you said it earlier, the west wind or what wind, you really got to fish the wind and the current you got to get the bait down there. Now, if you out there and the current's pouring, a little one eighth ounce weight ain't gonna cut it. You got to wait well, down let, to get let, to the bottom. Let, let me tell you this too. Talking about best bait, Lake Bourne. My grandson and them a few weeks ago, 
They left. They were doing every weekend. They were going out there. They were fishing live shrimp, but they were going with double rig. Oh, and that, shares, hey, look that Berkeley Gump double rig. And that double, that's it, Berkeley Gump. And they fishing double rig, just right there off the bottom. Nothing else on a jig head, and uh, they were they were hurting them trout. Well, so look at this. Mike Deven sent him and his wife. The other day off their pier. That was last week. And he then went to North Carolina and got out of his heat. He's if he's gone, we can go fish his pier. No, nah, he, he got a lock <laughs> gates and everything. Man, I, you can go by boat. <laughs> you go can by. put it into Wrigley's. But even my buddy Ralph Campanile, they were catching them. They're catching sharks and they're catching alligator gar. Well, Miss Angie and them fish. always talk about that, but don't we have well, a trip coming up? They gave away. Up? They gave a fishing trip away for the Heritage Ranch. And... Uh, Captain Andy, uh, he's going to do that. We're going to be there. We're going to video that. That's got to be fun. But Miss Andrews gave me also reports. They've been catching fish at Lake Catherine, Lake Bourne. But again, I went there Saturday. That west wind blew. Mess up. Had them storms. It was a little muddy. It was the only day they didn't catch fish or they didn't run out of shrimp. I talked to Joe. She was running in Atlanta on the weekend. And uh, pretty great. I gave her a T-shirt. I hope she wears it. But they are all over there and giving us report. And thank you, Miss Angie. Let me tell you something. I was the captains ain't came in yet when I was there. Some of the local people were coming in and, and they didn't have a whole lot of fish. But you just call Miss Angie or anybody down there, and they'll tell you or they'll find you a captain. They got some of the finest captains around right there. And look, Grand Isle, Herc and them network the same way. Hey, when you're down around Leeville at the lodge, we work with down there. You call, you call put up the little uh, marsh rat. You call up Mr. Biot, Chad Biot, and do the same thing. Jack and Sweetwater. These people want you catching fish because it's only good for their business. But, you know, back to a little bass fishing. We're bouncing all around, but, hey, it's okay. Don Hutchison, Ronnie Levine, check out the fish they caught down in Bob Black. Don don't keep a lot of fish till he gets hungry. Yeah, he has that's a my fish classmate. He's been probably, he took me one time to Henderson. He was supposed to take me back. Then he called me. I put him on some fish in Henderson, and I went over there with my bro bridge boys, and we caught all them bass on that rattle trap. But you know I'm what? Ready. Here's the next thing. You ought to know what that's about. It sounds like top water. Ooh, does it? From still, our old I buddy. Still, why don't you go dig up that photo of you and your daddy fishing top water? We got, we, we got it. We, we got to rerun that. You know that, and then the one when my boy and I got out there. When the ribbit frog first came out, and uh, there was underwater grass back in the shell cuts, and my wife was filming, and uh, that's some of the most, I mean, one bass ran you know, along the I have trouble getting the cameraman, but I can fish. You think, you think, I ain't renting that? my wife out. You know, I'm uh, but she might come with me. Rent. Oh, man, look. <laughs> look, you're to talking about top water. Topia, right now, he's booking plane trips, so the weather messing them up. But if you really want to make a trip, you don't need to go in that plane right now. He got all his boats running. They are catching. We got people coming from all over the country to go catch top water redfish. You know, and at a certain time right now, you talk to Chaz and you talk to the people in Pontchartrain and Lake Bourne, the Jack Revelle are moving in. You and I, I, yeah, I know it might be fun, but that works. That's like That's looking into a freight yeah, train. They, they tear my bait, do my. <laughs> But there's people come from all over the world to catch top water red and Jack Gravel. It's the time of the year, so don't forget it. Well, Gene With and the I ride the bull coming up this weekend. Oh, that's right. They're going to be some guys. I know they're going to be fishing cut crabs and mullet and everything, trying to get that big one, that, that bull. But I'm going to tell you what, there's going to be some people fishing top water. You watch. Gene and I were in Venice about 10 years ago, and uh, we got off right off of uh, Main Pass. We were sitting down in the open flat, and we seen a few bait jumping, and we sat there and caught them bull reds on top water. You know when we quit? We ran out of top water baits. <laughs> well, that six. must have killed you. Oh, no, you not much as him. <laughs> oh, he tight. He tight as a frog butt. That's water tight. Listen, David O'Lynn, your buddy. Our sponsor, big buddy. He, he ain't been going too often, but when he goes, he is hammering them. He's going out of Empire. He won't tell me no more. He said in the Buras area. I said, David. He was, only telling 20 he was at the Heritage Ranch there, too. He's a big donor to helping kids and their, their whole family, the Olin family. They're big outdoorsmen and they're big in helping charities. And they, they are 
uh, Baton Rouge and, and Louisiana landmark, the old lands. So, uh, David, I want to tell you what, I, I, I think appreciate your report. I think it's a little cheap, but him, Ray Bourgeois, Morty Petrie, 75 beautiful trout. I'm talking Check about hammers that caught on half on live shrimp and half on plastics. And uh, all they're going to say is out of viewers, out of empire. Hey, at least so, they got it narrowed down. I know, he, on he goes out and bats his collet and he fishes those rigs. You ain't going to fool me. I'm going to tell you that, but you, you might know where he's fishing. If you know David Carter, he might tell you. If you go buy a whole bedroom set. And we're getting to jump on a little bit of uh, fall right now with some little hunting. Well, we've supposed to have been showing some video hogs. But right now, people are still fighting them. They're getting ready for hunting season. Their food plots are getting eat up. The big hog from Ronnie Hemel, Ronnie keep him, keep him, killed it right before daylight. Excuse me. <coughs> John Langwall. I want to all remember that name. John was supposed to make a... He had snapper time. We were supposed to make a snapper trip. The season got where we had, we had some, some of our friends that got bad weather the day he could take off. Well, we didn't make it. But John Langwall is getting ready to go hunting. And he's still got some, uh, why you want to run my concentration? It's bad enough See, it is I right know now. But fish. John Langwall is uh, going to be bringing us some video, and he's going to be taking some video. So we're going to have a lot of hunt, hog hunting coming up with John Langwall. My North Baton Rouge buddy, stay hey, tuned I'm, I'm, for I'm more. eating cracklings. What better thing to do after a hog hunt? I said, I'm ready to go eat. Hey, I, I don't want to eat God bless you. Hey, Gary of Paradise, Louisiana, Chef KD at Etail.net. Send us something. We want to show what you consider to be fun with your family, friends, and the outdoors. We love you. We see you next week. Take care of God's country. He didn't give it to us to misbehave and don't not take care. Don't forget our sponsors. Hey, hydrate and love y'all. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K. Taking it easy, Louisiana State Parks. Follow your outside voice to our parks and historic sites. Farm Bureau Insurance. Demco, your touchstone energy cooperative. Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company. Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change. Louisiana Fish Fry Products. Veterans Health Foundation. Relief Windows. Experience, quality, service. Catering Cajun. Creative catering from casual to corporate. And by CCA Louisiana and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament.